Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Today we're going to talk about reseeding patches of grass. Where you've got grass that has died and in this case, this is where I uh, had my fire pit. The fire pit is now over there. It's in a new location. What happened was is the heat generated from it killed everything that uh, was underneath it. And we didn't burn anything with chemicals. They were just natural wood. I took a few trees down and there they are. I burnt them. So all this is really enriched soil from all the ash. And now I just got to reseed it. I mean, I could go to a store and pick up some seed. But I'm going to show you a very inexpensive way to get this done. As you can see here, I bought a bale of hay. I think that's three bucks. And the hay itself, you will see... It's got seed pods in it, so that's going to help you out quite a bit. It's maybe not the type of grass that you uh, want, but it's better than nothing. And what I do is I look around my property to see the very different varieties of grass that I have growing. I'm going to go to this bed here, which I deliberately didn't weed whack. And you can see here, those are seed pods. That's grass seed pods. And if you look at the base, that's the grass type. I like that, that's mostly what my lawn is. So what I do is, and you also notice today, is a very wet, dreary day. It's not pouring, it's just wet. Every once in a while there's a sprinkle that comes down and it's really damp. And that's why you wanna wait until now to do it. Because all these seeds have absorbed all that moisture. And I'm just gonna pull them off and put them in my hand, just like that. And I'm going to go through here and find others. Now, we're not finding many because I've already done this for the last 15 minutes. And when we go back to the spot, you will see where I have taken these seed pods that I've got collected on the grasses and put them down here already. So here are some in my hand, and that's how you do. You try to break them up as much. They're wet, so they're going to stick, and that's okay. I mean, you could do this on a dry day. It's just that you have to put a lot of water on this to really have those pods absorb the water they need to really start growing. So as you can see, I went around and, and have lined this about 15 minutes of grass collecting. And I'm gonna go over here where there's another variety of grass that I have on my property and they're bigger seed pods. I mean, if, this, if you like this grass, I call this cow grass because the blades are so wide. You know, if you're just trying to fill the spot and you don't mind this, it still comes in good when you mow it. And what I'll do here, is I say, well, why not? I'll add this variety too, because maybe uh, that other variety I was picking up doesn't like that type of environment and this grass might. So here I am, I'm just pulling them off. Hey. Get a few. All right, go back to the spot. And what I'm doing is I'm grinding my hand really good. So I'm breaking it up as best I can as it falls to the ground here. You know, just cover it. I mean, get, be generous. You know, whatever comes up here, you're trying to cover the spot. I mean, later on, what you can do is you can use a selective herbicide, which I never use, but you could to kill very, like the cow grass, to keep the blue grass. That's totally up to you. Here at my place, we do not use chemicals. We try to go as organic as possible. What I've done is I just grabbed a handful of this, this hay. I'm just going to sprinkle. Just sprinkle it, cover it. And this is perfect because now I've saved my pocketbook not only in going to have to buy the grass from a retailer but i'm not paying to water this so, you know i have a pump in the ground so that would be just paying my you know my power bill but you know if you time this right and you do this at the right time you're saving yourself time in watering and money it's just today's a really wet day it's going to mother nature is going to do my work my extra work i would have for me i'm going to grab a little bit more of this hay 
you know, cover it generously. Now, maybe you'll see some action in the next seven days, but I look for the window of seven, seven days to 20 days. You're definitely going to see some growth here. You're going to let Mother Nature cover this with water today. And what I will wait until I see it grow at least three inches, and then I'll mow it. And I'll mow it at maybe three inches just to cap the tops. The thing with grass is it will send runners and duplicate itself the more you cut it. So you might have various patches of grass growing here, but if you systematically cut it so that it keeps its length, but you're just shaving the tops off, it will widen its base and eventually cover this entire area. But, you know, I was generous with the seeds, so this area should not take long to cover itself. Well, I hope this helps, um, and thank you. This has been the Target Zone.